What's up guys, Strunx here, or Cat Riff here, back with a brand new Katarina video. And in today's video, this topic is basically talking about what do you do um, if you're behind with Katarina, right? That's basically the topic here. Got a comment. I, I got some more videos coming soon for different topics as well, guys, like some matchups and stuff like that. Uh, but without further ado, though, this video is specifically talking about what do you do when you are behind with Katarina? And this is the perfect match to kind of represent that. Uh, now, this happened uh, in the morning when I was, you know, getting ready for work, but I started to play a game before that. But regardless, we went neutral 888. So there, I wouldn't say we're feeding, but um, there were some, um, some crazy, crazy fights that happened. But, I mean, just look at the y'all. So, you guys can already tell what happened here. Um, even that uh, Jace there. That Jace was a, definitely a smurf account. Um, but, our Vladimir also played very badly at the start. But then, he kind of popped off. They were a former challenger player that I've looked. Which made me think. It was, like, interesting. He played horribly. But, anyways, guys. That being said, I also have to give a shout out to Demon as well. Demon played very, very well um, in this matchup this year as well. So, for the builds and runes page. Here it is. This is the runes that we use. Electrocute. Or the squishies, I you know I saw a Ziggs. I'm like okay, a Ziggs and Ash and a Tristana and a Jace. You know that's gotta go electrocute, right? Although I could have gone for a strike, but uh, I decided to go electrocute regardless. Um, and then we got Giant Slayer because I didn't expect the Yasuo to even go like tank Yasuo either way. But I mean there it is. He's building tank Yasuo and he built it perfectly, like perfectly as he should too. He was he did some crazy stuff. Without further ado though, let's get right into it. Um, Without further ado, guys, let's get right into the gameplay. Alrighty, guys. So basically, you know, this matchup was really interesting. I went against a Ziggs, um, and this is the point where he will try to poke you, and he did some crazy things to me that made me not be able to get my minions. And that's because here's what I did. So I made some mistakes. I missed some minions, and then that my my wave pushed up to him. Then he stalled the wave for the rest of the, of the time there, and I'm like, I can't do anything. So this guy played his wave management very, very good, and that's how I was able to get behind uh, a Ziggs. And a Ziggs in general is just really pokey as well, especially with his, you know, um, his grenades or bombs, whatever you want to call them. Um, I had a back hair just because why not? I took some damage from him. Um, but yeah, basically, you know, our Vladimir really died first. The Jace literally just e him instantly. I don't know if the Vladimir was expecting it, but yeah, and then our top lane was meh. I don't know, the Kaisa was alright, but then she kind of fall off late game as well. She did some very, like, weird things. I don't know how to explain it. You guys will see it in this uh, video here. Okay, yeah, this guy just goes straight for... Oh, not this one. He actually... That's crazy. He actually escapes here. But yeah, the, the jungler was basically kind of having a beef with the, the our ADC. He's like, oh, he went... 1 in 10, this, that, as an Ezreal, you know, and it was, and they had no CC. They were just kind of, I don't know, complaining, but, um, but yeah, I mean, here, let's see what, what, they, what they do here. They flashed, okay, interesting, and as you guys know, Demon is a really great support. He, he plays really well. Um, okay, yeah, I'm like, I'm just poking him. Um, we kind of died here in a little bit, but let's see, this is where the, J, uh, the Vladimir dies, look at this. He's gonna, Yasuo skank, boom, okay, he does that. Oh, what is that perfect timing there? I tried to go on the Ziggs here. Ziggs messed up. He didn't really mess up. He kind of poked me a lot. But um, yeah, I mean, he just he, he just killed me here. I don't know why I decided to go there. The pain was kind of late. I thought he would have came sooner. Um, so let me pause. That's basically the play there. I really thought that the Kane was going to push up already sooner. He was kind of late to that fight, and that's how I died. If he would have jumped on that Ziggs right away, he would have melted him or even killed the Ziggs faster and sooner. And then I would have gotten there and gotten the assist, but then I probably would have died to the Yasuo regardless. Either way, I should have just backed, but um, I saw the Kane there once in the gang, and I thought he was going to do that. But that's that's the reason why I went in. But of course, you know, he kind of just got, gets killed by the Yasuo as well, and that's where Yasuo started getting a little bit fed as well. Um, yeah, I mean, he's already got like one kill, one assist, but um, yeah, that's basically that. We try to come back, get our waves, you know, get our minions as best as we could. I didn't really go for a gank at all this game, even though I should have been prioritizing. But again, this was early in the morning, I just woke up, I wasn't thinking properly, you know what I mean. But um, yeah, this is a perfect example of what you do when you're behind. You guys can see the gold at the very top, and like, nine, like, we're like two, three cake gold off from the enemy team here guys 
We're catching up here slowly, but... I mean, this Vladimir just runs it down for no reason. I don't know why. He probably just tries to ego this guy, but it's just... Not a smart move. Okay, Kaiser gets a few kills there. He, they die. And then the um, Beeman kind of ulted. So the Galio ulted, but didn't really do anything. Kane comes here. Just try and gank. Don't know what they were doing. Kind of a little too late. I'm over here just waiting for the Ziggs to come to me. There's not really much to do since he's stalling the wave. I mean, we could try to get our minion, but it's just... You know... I go, I just, I just kind of do whatever here because like, uh, I don't know what to explain that. <laughs> I kind of just like made him scared a little bit. That's kind of the whole purpose as a cat. Like make him scared, taunt him a little bit, you know, mess him around, make him mess up. I got my, uh, my canyon there, my canyon min minion, and then I kind of, I was like, I'm going to bait you come here or bait him to come here. He, he, I baited the ult perfectly there. Um, of course he hits me with his Q. I come and get my fruit here. Oh yeah, no, th this game was very interesting. It was a good, a very good example, and this was so, I wouldn't say ironic, but like, it was a perfect moment because, uh, 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 you know, one of you guys commented like, hey, give me a video, a topic about what should I do, what should I be doing when I'm behind with Katarina. And, you know, this is the perfect example. Like, our, our ADC is just kind of like two and two. The meh. I don't really know how to describe. Here, you know, d okay, they were... The ADC was kind of blaming our support or Demon because they weren't there. But like, again, Demon was trying to do his best to roam around and help us as a support and gank. Because obviously this Kai'Sa is not that great. So that's probably the reason why. Um, I was like, do I come gank here? And that's why I was like, I'm thinking to come gank here. So I started to come over here. <laughs> I believe we get the uh, we did not get the Ash here. The Kai'Sa got the Ash. That was unfortunate. Enemy I wanted to kill there. Kill. And then, of course, Kane and Vladimir fleeing the Yasuo there, getting the double attack. kill. So the Yasuo was already ahead. He's 3-0 and oh, uh, with, like, he's already got a first item. That's insane. So, um, Demon ulted here to save me a little bit. He goes in. This is where I... Yeah, he flashed away. So it was very close. As Zig saved his ult, that was really... Uh, his flash, that was really smart. Because if he had not had his flash he would have been dead but you know galio and cat is a perfect combo wombo as well if they are a good galio right so you know th and then i'm gonna talk about another video like what you should be pick like picking to go against with cat or to play against with cat because obviously katarina is gonna need some good teammates and cc in order to do damage you know uh, but i'll go in depth with that in a different video as soon as i get some good gameplay of course but um, yeah, so the Yasuo tries to, he kind of overextends here a little bit. I think he dies here. I try to get, I try to kill him, but nope, didn't have, didn't work. Ziggs ulted. I didn't even get the Yasuo at all. He he got away. This Yasuo's positioning was really interesting. Kaiser tries to go for the, the uh, Chisana here, which she, I don't know what she's doing here. She still gets the kill, I believe. No, she does not. Yeah, I don't know what that Kaiser's doing. I'm over here getting struggled. I just get ru like run down by this Asher. That's the only kill that she gets, by the way. <laughs> only kill because of the mistake that I did there. I mean, she just, I mean, she's already feeding. Like an Ash support doesn't go really well here. Um, but we're losing heavily in gold, you guys. Like, do, do you guys understand that we're losing so hard? Like, I'm already 0-2. I'm 3k gold. And this Ziggs got 5k gold, guys. 2k gold behind. Like, I'm already losing my lane against the Ziggs regardless. I mean, he, he pokes a lot. And, like, this Yasuo is already tanky as well. He puts the Rift Herald there. I try to, try to do some combo wombo here. Uh, try to get stop him. But, nah. We're going to lose our turret here. Kill the Rift Herald. And then we just clear our wave here. Nothing much we, we can really do. But, let me go more in depth into that topic. When you're losing as like, with Katarina or, or behind with Katarina. Uh, you know, losing lane and, and very behind as a whole team. Try to prioritize farming. That's the only, that, that's really basically it. Try to prioritize farming. Try to try to um, gank when you can kill them. Basically, do some crazy setups like what we're doing here, me and Demon. Just try to like build up that kill again. Look, I ulted. Plus my W there. We still got a, sh a little shutdown there or some gold back. Oh, we we traded with him, but we still got some kills. And that's one and three, which is okay. He's still ahead by two K gold, but again, it all comes down to. How your team will play and group um, late game, and that's basically it. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to think to explain it fairly well so you guys can understand. Um, but the main idea is to just basically farm. Take it easy. Don't be aggressive. Don't be <laughs> egoing a lot of people thinking you can kill them. Think about how you're so behind. You need to farm gold to get to do more damage. You're not gonna do a lot of damage if you don't farm up. 
Okay, I don't know how I survived here, but they almost got me here. I kind of overextended a little bit, but my team was just, I don't know. Valor Odin is trying to save me, but it didn't even work. I didn't even survive, actually. I forgot I died here. So we're like one in four as cat. Like, and we're just... And, and the only reason why we're dying is because Yasuo is so fed from the Vladimir. And like, the Vladimir and Kane fed the frig out of the, the Yasuo there. He's 7k gold with 4 and 0. Like, and this is why tank Yasuo is busted right now, you guys. Like, crazy busted. Yeah, see, I didn't even know what that Kaiso was doing. Just staying in there, really doing nothing. And then our Vladimir tries to challenge them for no reason. Why are you guys fighting a 1v5, a 1v4? It makes no sense to me, right? And, like, Kaiso is hitting kills, sure. But, like, our Vladimir is 1 in 6. Like, beating heavily. I ulted there. I was able to get the kill on the Ash there. Easy pick. That's basically it also as well. Try to go for easy picks. Go for the, the champion, or try to get some kills to build up that gold and that farm. And that's basically it, really. That's the only tip that I got for you guys, is basically farm up, try to go for kills, and um, try to snowball a little bit. Just take it easy. Again, do not feed them, but try to kill them, in a sense, right? Even if you die, you still get a trade, so that kind of kind of cancels it out, right? Try your best to try to get a trade. You know, take somebody down with you. Um, as long as you're getting a kill, that will give you some more gold for the shutdown. And it will give you a little bit ahead. But we're so, so far behind. You can see 27k, 28k gold, 40k gold. Like, that is such a big difference. We're like 10k gold behind, guys. Like, as a whole team. Ash ulted me here, but they didn't really get anything off of it. Um, I still try to push up a little bit, though, because, like... Oh, yeah, see, it's Trying to bait there. I popped the, the vision there. I think I still die here? No! Uh, maybe I still die here. See, Galio was... No, that was Vladimir. I, I kind of honestly mistaken him for a Galio. I thought that was Demon with me, but it wasn't Vladimir. Vladimir was there. So, he kind of... I don't know. This is... I don't... I'm, I'm very shocked that he's a challenger player. Former challenger player. But, like... And he's feeding. Like, feeding hard. Like, 2 and 7. 4 and 6 Kai'Sa. Like, the, I don't know. They were talking mad trash. They were talking a lot in the chat, guys. Like, I tried my hardest to not... I was trying to be pro uh, productive and, like, actually positive. And try to, like, hey, we got this. As long as we keep doing what we're doing. Group up like this. Easy. Like, you know, we just got to come back. And that is the biggest thing that you need to, to learn and actually think in your head. We can win this. Do not surrender. We got it. Even if we're losing that bad, we got it. As long as you farm up and catch up. For late game, you will you will scale massively, and as long as you get some kills with Cat, you're fine. Like literally, just get some bounties on you and try to not die and play it super super safe. You'll come back no matter what. As long as the the CC is there, like it's again. How do I explain this? It it all matters. It comes down to the timing, right? Look at this. Galio old said he taunts CC. This actual is coming here. This is boom. I get the kill here. On the Tristana because they were kind of there, and then of course the Kaiser just gets the Jace there, and that was bringing up some gold. We're trying, to, we're catching up slowly but surely. We're catching up, okay? We're catching up. I'm trying my best to explain to you guys so you guys can actually learn um, what to do in this a situation like this. So th look at that. That Yasuo is crazy. I'm like debating if do I come in here because that Yasuo can kill us instantly. Look at this, guys. Which we, I mean, that can goes in, which is okay, but he. Ends up dying to this, I believe. Mm, no, he gets away. I think, yeah. Okay. No, I think we die here. <laughs> Yasuo's just come and kill. Kills us both here. Here's where I told her, like, hey, Kaisa, if you would have just attacked the guy, you would have been fine. I would have been, I would have been able to kill. Watch. I'm gonna replay this, guys. Okay. Let me slow it down a little bit. All right. Let's rewatch what happened, okay? I want you guys to uh, to understand what I'm coming from here, right? So this guy says here. She she did not okay, she did that. She auto, but like, I mean Okay. Honestly, maybe it was my fault. I, I thought she wasn't autoing at all. Like, why was she not doing no damage to this guy? But again, it was because he's a tanky also. And that's probably why. I ulted a little bit, maybe too late, but anyways, the Kane was able to get the kill there. Or no, the Kaiser got the kill. I guess he got hit by the minions, or I don't know. But um, yeah, I mean, she's 9k gold. Like, she's 
Uh, I don't know. Wood 3 and 5. The guy says 7 and 7. Arcane is 2 and 5. Alzheimer is 2 and 7. And they were just literally out jungling him, but also maybe they were a duo. I don't know. Who knows, right? They were literally playing it super well, guys. Literally. Like, they were just not letting this cane farm at all. Like, it's just insane. But, uh, yeah. Like, he, I don't even know what he tries to do. Okay, he goes away. He's... Maybe he get, get, gets out of here. I don't know. They're all on this guy right here. Look at this. I'm like pinging. Hey, danger, danger. Get out of there. But, um, yeah, we clear the wave here. Let's see if he actually makes that all light. I totally forgot. I get the red buff here. Because we're obviously going to be the carry, right? The Kai'Sa is... Is meh. Again, she is meh. Her micromanagement and macro is a little bit meh. A little bit off. Seek peace, um, but bring the because she's always wanting to fight, wanting to go in all the time, but like, we're not gonna follow up and we're gonna die, you know what I mean, guys? Alright, so right here, I'm looking. They're already fighting. Boom, she's already dead. I'm trying to figure out what do I do here in this situation, because our Vladimir's over there, Kane's got a kill. We're getting chased by the, the, the Jace here, though. So, Demon was able to stop that Jace from killing me. So, he tanked that a little bit. The Kane's over here, Vladimir and Kane's over here doing some work. I don't know if they go out here, but... Okay, yeah, this guy... Came to our base and Yasuo was already dead. I try to go for the Jace here, but he hits me anyways. I kind of, I, maybe I kind of overthought that I could have gotten the, the the Jace guy there, but he did his nasty combo and he I was able to get me down. But regardless, we're at 8k here. The Ziggs is at 10k, so we're kind of we're, we're 2k go behind the whole entire time on our mid laner. I mean, he's six and three. Seven and four, six and two. Like the, it was kind of I don't know. This was really rough for us, guys. I mean, you guys are seeing the gameplay. I, I'm trying my best to kind of like navigate through everything because obviously this is a replay. Um, I didn't re necessarily want to record the whole gameplay, but um, but yeah, that's basically that. I mean, this is like we are. This is the builds, right? The the blah. This is the builds, by the way, guys. Um, Infinity Orb, Death Cap, and then we're I'm building tri uh, Ocean's Trident here because I know that. The Yasuo is building tank, and obviously the Ocean Trident will help us take down high health champions. Along with, we, I mean, we already have Giant Slayer, right? It doesn't really matter, but it helps a ton if you get Ocean's Trident. Um, so yeah, I mean, this guy's like, yeah. Mistakes like that is gonna cost us the game, right? So don't be like that Kaisa. Do not overextend it. Do, uh, she got caught there. She, ex over she extended all a lot, even though she was playing weight. But look at this. Clean combo, but we still managed to die, but the cane is getting fed too. The cane is the key to actually helping us get kills because he melts them and then we just go in and just secure the kills, you know? That's the teamwork there. So we're here, let's watch Demon. He does an amazing job as a Galio, but we still lose because our Vladimir is all the way up top here getting a turret. But then again, it doesn't matter. He's he's a solo laner, so he's pushing, you know, pushing turrets, giving us some more gold as well. So it, it didn't really matter. It was okay. But, I mean, this fight could have gone... Yeah, I didn't see how the Kane got the kill, but apparently he just... Yeah, they got Baron. I believe he dies here. Yeah, Yasuo wins the fight here. Like, it was just unfortunate. Vladimir, however, gets two turrets for us. Alright, here I come. I'm alive now. This is gonna be a long bid, guys. Hopefully, you guys are learning and understanding how to actually come back uh, when you're losing this heavily. I mean, they already got Baron and everything. Like, look at this. I'm just dodging every Zigzol, by the way, guys. Okay, so this Vladimir is trying to challenge the Yasuo here. And... Okay, I mean, Vladimir is doing okay now. And now that he's scaling hard, he's kind of trying a little bit. Which, is, which I respect, you know? He had a bad, rough start against or like early game against the jace but again the jace falls off early uh late game as well guys he's only really good early to mid game so but yeah i mean they get everything like e even if their yasuo or jungler wasn't there they still got the, the the dragon guys but um yeah this is again really rough situation for us five and seven i mean we're, we're all feeding here <laughs> but i mean that's only because like they, they had a really good early game and we had a horrible early game you know so it all comes down to the late game, to the group fights, to the team fights, basically, and who wins, and who engages, who CCs, and stuff like that. It all comes down to literally getting caught, like, somebody getting caught, and then that's basically it, you know? Do not try to 1v5 on your own late game, because you would die. Um, I mean, look at that. Like, that Jace already poked me. Like, I'm, I'm like, do I go in or do I not, do I not go in? Because Vladimir, 
surprisingly live. Isaac right, goes in. Nice, miserably. Um, our Galio though, look at this. Okay, this is where I was like hesitating, like demon. Okay, you're doing good. Like, do I actually follow up? I'm coming back because I know that he's literally melting them and tanking them for me. So I'm like, okay, I'm coming out. The Vladimir get there, gets the kill, and then of course Galio gets the kill. Like demon gets the kill, and then here I don't know what Tristan was thinking. Like, <sighs> try to get him through, but the Vladimir gets the kill. Oh, I get the kill. There you go. All it took was an E onto the Vladimir, and then queuing, and then ulting, and that was it. Like. You guys see how they're kind of like losing in gold now? We're literally 7k gold behind, but we're coming back. And we can actually kill them. So this is really good. Six and seven. It's all good. I saw, however, seven and eleven. How that is crazy. A lot of deaths. And this is Emerald Elo, guys. They peak master, and I don't understand why <laughs> they do this. I don't know. Maybe they got boosted. Maybe that's the problem. I don't know. The matchmaking just sucks in general in Wild Rift right now. Like it's just horrible. Okay, let's see Vladimir play here. Trying to 1v1 against this Yasuo here. I'm trying to give you guys a better, like, situate, like, a better, uh, view of what's happening in the situation. So I try to go here, help him a little bit, my electric good prop, but he just dies. I mean, this Yasuo is just crazy. I try to kill him here. Nothing I could do. That's why I backed out. The Ziggs is just... I don't know, he's watching you not. He's, I mean, he's farming the kills off the Kai stuff, apparently, with his ult. Like, she, he's always gotten her all the time. With his ult, it's, it's insane. Um... But yeah, guys, sorry, this can be a long one, but here's where it comes down to this, guys. Getting a drag, getting Elder is important, and getting Baron to end it off. And that's how you want to prioritize this, guys. All right, here we go. Here, here it comes down. And goes straight for the easy kill there on the Tristana. Boom. Galio ults to give us shield there. I get hurt a little bit by the Jace, but it's still okay. Like, boom. Galio goes in, putting pressure on them. This is what you want to do. Put pressure on them. Give them, get them to engage on you and attention. Like, give them attention. Boom. Easy. We, all we have to do is just there. I go run away from the Ash. Again, easy, fast combos, fast hands. There, boom. We get the kill on the Jace. Run away. Rift Hall for the Elder Dragon. They got basically three down. This is an easy Elder, guys. Even if the Yasuo is still alive, we, we can still do Elder. So the Kane was going to recall, but he decides to saw Elder right away because we're all doing it and everybody wants to do it. As you can see, we're all pinging him. Vladimir is there as well. Alio is here. Alright. They, they have vision because of the Ash. Boom. I go over there. Gets the Ash instantly. We get the Elder successfully. And boom. Surprisingly, the Vladimir got, got the Elder, which is, which is good. And then everybody was wanting to do... Okay, here's where we made a big mistake. Um, it comes up to this. And I didn't know... We weren't in comms, but me and Demon was a duo, right? But we didn't really know. And here, this is foreshadowing. But basically, we messed up here as a duo. They wanted to do Baron. We could have done Baron. But hey, at least we give them time to do Baron. So in a sense, we got a free turret. And we are giving pressure to them. So they focus us and not go to the Baron. It's like, they were already doing Baron, but like, look, I see that Galio wants to go in, and this is where I made him a big mistake. I thought he, he ran off, he, he, he basically left me, and I thought he was gonna go win. So I went in, and then died here. If he, if he did his E right there, and hit them, we would have gotten that easy double kill, right? But it's okay, we made a mistake, it happens, you know. Um, like, the Jace's kills, kills here, boom. It's unfortunate, but at least our teams got Baron, so that's really good. Um, so in a sense, you know, it's okay. It's, it's okay that that happened. Um, and here it is. 8 and 8 and 8. We're neutral. But this is how we win the game, guys. Like, it's crazy. The Kane was decent. The Kane knew what he was doing. He scaled a little bit. He waited. He focused the, the uh, Tistana, which is really good as well. Because she <laughs> hurts me in general if she ults. But here's the fight here, guys. Vladimir here. Gets the kill on the Jace. Then he heals up. And then he just melts the Yasuo. Like, guys, Vladimir, late game, <laughs> don't don't even mess with him. He will literally kill you. Plus, with Elder, bro, there's no way of stopping that guy. Like, I mean, he's a challenger player. He's redeeming himself here. Like, he, he fed early game, but hey, he's coming back. You know? All right. Yeah, that's basically it. I want to speed it up a little for you guys here. Yeah, Kane just gets an easy double kill there. Like, this was easy. And this is how we're coming back. Hopefully you guys learned something new in this video. Um, if you guys have any other questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I will reply to them. And maybe I made a mistake uh, when recording this, but look at this. Vladimir just pops off. Look at...
thing just almost literally just one shot at that just Tana there. This is why I hate going against the Vladimir guys. And here it is, ending the game. Boom. And that's basically how you come back as a Katarina, losing. Literally, look at that. We we were still behind in gold regardless, but we got OBJs. That's another key thing too that I wanted to mention. Literally try to go for Elder and Baron. Elder late game, boom, easy comeback. Even if you're behind, as long as you get an Elder and Baron, you're you're set, guys. Literally, this is it, guys. This is the matchup here. Literally, oh my goodness, you guys. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But with that being said, guys, I don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long. Um, that's going to be it for today's video. Once again, if you have enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell notification to get notified when I post a new video. With that being said, my name is Tronix or Catriff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!